Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Avenger 2 and I want to show you some cool stuff with the mod envelope to make some really interesting rhythmic type of things. So for example, let's start with a fresh preset menu initialize just in case. Now, if we go to our mod envelope, we see this is just going downwards here. Now we can bring our filter down and we can drag and drop this here and give it some healthy modulation. So we have something like this now. Now, first thing we want to do is make this loop here so we can go to our loop. Now for this guy, maybe we can bring this to, it really depends on how you want to make it, but what I kind of like doing here is grabbing some points here, maybe bringing one all the way to maybe, hmm, maybe around here or so for now, and then maybe kind of bringing this up and making something kind of interesting like that, just some shapes. And anytime you make something really cool, I would highly recommend to save it so you can recall it at the next time. And maybe we have something kind of like that, and maybe we don't need that point. So we have four basic saws going down. And we want to bring this here over this loop end all the way down over here. So we have something essentially kind of like that. Now we could add some more points, which maybe we should here. So let's go here, add another one at the top, double click here and keep maybe adding these guys until we get something maybe around eight or so. And then we can start making things really interesting. So we have one more here on seven and then maybe bring this guy out a little bit and make one more here. And then this is going to end on eight. And then we can right click this last one, delete this and bring our loop end all the way here. So we have something kind of like this, and then maybe we can bring the speed to about two. Start making an interesting patch here. And then we can maybe right click, go to our EQ and get some nice low end out of this. Add some compression. And maybe we could do a little bit of uh, Dimension Expander. Again, I kind of bring this down to about 15 or so and take out some of the low end and so on and so forth. And also some delays are gonna be really cool for this here. Let's turn this one on for now, but we're gonna disable this and we're gonna come back to this in just a little bit here. So we essentially have something kind of like this. Now to make this a little bit more interesting, we can kind of zoom in and maybe tighten up some of these curves like this here. Now, essentially, we have a unipolar signal here with this offset to being 100. However, we can always change this if we want to. If we want a unipolar or a bipolar signal, really depends on what you want to do. For this, I do like leaving this offset at 100%, so we just oscillate on one side there. And we can also make this a little bit faster, times four, something like that. So we have something kind of rhythmic here. Now here we're only modulating the filter and we can still hear a little bit of low end. We could also modulate the amp with this so we can bring this volume all the way down. We can drag and drop this here and then maybe bring the amount to right here. So in that sense, it's a little bit more snappy. Now what's really cool is once we go to our drums, this bass cone in the, uh, in the acid breaks pack is actually pretty cool here. So let's double click this guy and let's take a listen to this. And then we started adding delays here. So we have something essentially like that. Now to make things a little bit more chaotic as well, we could also do maybe some random thing here on the PAM. So we can go up here and then maybe do something like random or under the math, let's do a random bipolar A and then drag and drop this guy on the PAM and maybe bring this up kind of like that here. So anytime we hit a note, we are also doing random. We could do it that way, or we can do this with an LFO. If we go here and go to the random like that here, and we also drop this like that, we can bring this up here. So now once we hold it, these values are constantly gonna change. So depending if you want a different randomness for the stereo field, if you wanna hit one note, or if you wanna hold it down to have it move, it's two different ways. You can go either go bipolar, or you can use an LFO for that. Really depends on what you wanna do. Maybe we can even add some shaping to it. That might be actually kind of interesting as well. So bring the shaper down over here and let's add some stuff here. Maybe we can move this frequency knob with this exact same mod envelope, which also might be kind of cool. And 
since we're moving in this rhythmic fashion, we can also modulate this as well with another LFO. So drag and drop this guy here. And maybe for this, a triangle wave might be a little bit, it might make a little bit more sense for that. So LFO two and increase this. <laughs> So there's already something kind of random in that sense as well. So that might be something that you might like to do as well. So what we can also do, so this is just a saw wave going into this. So we can bring down our gain and we can always just add some noise and see what that sounds like. If we want to get creative as well, we could start modulating the noise type. And we can also change the different types of noises. So in the organic stuff, there's a lot of cool stuff. And if we like something maybe like this here, maybe we can bring down the volume just a little bit and then start adding in our saw wave once again. So that's just one delay here. So maybe we can increase this mix and we can add another delay. Now this first one is at one over eight. So maybe we can do something like one over eight dotted. That might be kind of interesting. Even that might be kind of interesting as well. So we can go back to our mod envelope, drag and drop this here a little bit on the FM and see what that sounds like. Or maybe we can have both octaves here. We can go to our voicing and maybe add a sub square. And again with our drums here. So we have something kind of like that. And that's just based off one mod envelope. Now there's different modes that we can do. So we can go from loop or we can go to ping pong. That might be also kind of interesting. <laughs> So who knows where this actually can go. Maybe you can bring this into a second filter so we can add another one and then go to our routing and maybe go to filter two. And obviously this is gonna be afterwards. So filter one and then filter two. So here, maybe we can do something kind of like this. Maybe take this off the ping pong for now, go back to loop. Oh yeah, that's just kind of a quick demonstration of some cool stuff you can do with mod envelopes. So don't overlook these guys. You can make some really, really cool stuff and also be sure to save these shapes if you like them. And also keep in mind that we can go here and we have lots of different ones that come with Avenger that we can use to make some really interesting stuff as well. So I thought I'd share that with you guys today and maybe inspire you to make some interesting rhythmic type of things. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next one.